Hello YouTube, LearSize17 here, but you can just call me Travis. And yes, welcome to the long-awaited, at least for me, top 10 list. Uh, I've been doing the top 30 over the last couple days. Uh, a couple days ago I did 30 through 21, yesterday I did 20 through 11, and yes, today we're going to count down number 10. I'm not sure how, yeah. One of those two, one of those two, I'm not sure how you see it. 10, down to number one. All right, uh, yeah, nothing else to really add. Uh, again, bear with me as I sniffle through this entire video, as it is still the same day. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're playing at home, you know we got a lot of top 13 solos left to talk about. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. In the background, we're listening to my number one album from last year, the self-titled debut, Satan's Hollow. All right, number 10. Number 10, No Fear to Persevere by Manacle. This is an artist out of Canada. They play a uh, new wave of traditional heavy metal with, def with a definite new wave of British heavy metal vibe to the overall sound. Uh, this is out through No Remorse Records. And yeah, just this sounds like just awesome heavy metal. Uh, the vocalist sounds like Michael Kiske to me, so if you're into that early Halloween stuff, uh, definitely uh, give, this a, give this a go. Uh, some of my favorite songs from the release, uh, Journey's End, uh, Fight for Your Life, Live Fast, Die Fast, uh, just, just a fun, really fun, energetic release. Uh, there's a top 13 solo on here, uh, it is in the song Journey's End. But yeah, uh, really happy to have this one in the top 10, really enjoy this record a lot. Uh, No Fear to Persevere from Manacle. Alright, number 9. Number nine, hit him with Twist of Fate. Uh, with new singer in tow, uh, I'm happy to have these guys in the top ten. Uh, they are out of Spain. Uh, they play uh, new wave of Trish Heavy Metal. It definitely is a bit of a kind of a glammy hair metal vibe, I think, on this one, which I really enjoyed a lot. Uh, this is released out through High Roller Records. And uh, yeah, in terms of what they sound like, I don't know, maybe like a, I, I've been listening to a lot of Dokken this year, so maybe we'll see a modern Dokken. Uh, just really riffy, uh, good solos, uh, vocals. I really like the new singer a lot, just really great vocals. Uh, some of my more favorite tracks, uh, Take It All, uh, On The Run, In The Heat Of The Night. Those are probably my top three. Uh, this does have a top 13 solo. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely up there uh, with the lead song, Take It All. Just a great, 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 great solo. I always love the ones that have lots of individual parts and just keep on building, uh, which is what this one does. So yeah, really, really love that solo. And uh, yeah, number nine, Hitting with Twist of Fate. All right, number eight. Number eight, you wanted it, here it is. Firepower from Judas Priest. Uh, you probably know this band, but in case you don't, uh, they are out of England, uh, and they play heavy metal. Um, you might, some might say they're sort of uh, the godfathers of, of the genre. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Uh, this was released out through Sony Epic, if you care. Uh, and this sounds like uh, a 2018's version of, of Painkiller. This is my favorite Priest record since Painkiller. Uh, you know, I don't think they're doing anything that's like groundbreaking in any way, shape, or form. But uh, this is just a really solid, great record. Good, solid riffs. Uh, Halford sounds like amazing. Uh, the soloing is, is very solid. It's great. Uh, yeah, just really, really enjoy enjoy this record. Um, 
it's actually kind of funny. Uh, I, I think it's it's done the best at maintaining its spot all year. Uh, you know, I sort of sort of thought it would just gradually kind of keep on falling down the list, but it kind of just kind of hovered around the the top the, around the ten area all year long. So kudos to Juice Priest for hanging in there. Uh, some of my favorite tracks from this year: uh, Flamethrower, easily my favorite. Uh, right. Uh, what was it? Yeah, Rising from Ruins. Wow. Uh, Lightning Strike, another great one. Uh, Firepower, title track. Uh, yeah, just a, a number of really fun songs on this one. Uh, top 13 solo, yes, the one on Flamethrower. I love that solo. Uh, I think it could have used one more section for it to just be like an all-timer for me, but otherwise, really, really enjoyable solo. Uh, very happy to have uh, Juice Priest, Flamethrower, at number eight. All right, number seven. Seven, we have Cobbled with The Curse of the Ancient Abbey. Uh, this is a, uh, I'm not really sure, uh, there's lots of members, one person, there isn't really a lot of clear information about this band. But regardless, they're out of Italy, uh, and they play Dungeon Synth, the only Dungeon Synth uh, release to make my top 30 all, and here it is at number uh, seven. Uh, it is released out through Hymet Dirk Catastrophe. Um, a label that I think uh, specializes in Dungeon Synth. Uh, and what this sounds like, it sounds like, it sounds like the NES game Dragon Warrior, man. Like, this game just, like, it, it sounds very nostalgic for me. Nostalgic. Uh, it's just, it's just a really fun listen. Uh, I listen to this album. I, it's definitely one of my, my most listened to albums of the year. Uh, I just listen to this one a ton. And uh, yeah, it's really good for playing RPGs and stuff like that. Right now, I've been I've been replaying uh, Final Fantasy V. Was sort of doing, for, sort of doing a four job Fiesta variant, and so I've been listening to a lot of that, and, and have been enjoying it. Um, some of my favorite tracks from this release: "Hunted by Zombies," uh, "The Abbey in the Mist" are probably my two favorites. Also, uh, "Showdown in the Crypt of the Dead." That's a good one too. Also, uh, no top solo on this release. Um, they actually just did release uh, another album on Christmas Eve called The Valley of the Forgotten Secrets, which I'm going to listen to a few times, but is also very, very excellent. Uh, had I had more time to let it uh, percolate with me, I probably would have also made the top 30 list, maybe, uh, as it is the quality is just as good as this one. So yeah, very happy to have this release, Cobbled, The Curse of the Ancient Abbey, at number 7. Alright, top 6, number 6 right here. Number six, Seven Sisters with The Cauldron and The Cross. This is probably, as you would might expect, the, the saddest one for me to not have made the top five. I really feel like this is the top five release of this year, but it just 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 squeaked out to number six. Uh, this is a band out of England. They play a new wave of traditional heavy metal. It definitely has a Nawabum vibe to it. Uh, released out through Dissonance Productions. And yeah, it just sounds like an awesome new wave of British heavy metal uh, sounding record. Really energetic, good riffs, awesome vocals, uh, solos are great. Uh, some of my favorite tracks, uh, Once and Future King, uh, Oathbreaker, uh, Blood and Fire, those are probably my top three. Surprisingly, no top 13 solo on this one, uh, but still just a, just a really great solid release. Uh, yeah, Seven Sisters, The Culture and the Cross. Heavy Metal fans, check it out. All right, here we go. Top five coming up. Number five.
All right, number five, and I still haven't taken out of my uh, replacement copy, a shrink wrap, and that's uh, Magic Dance with New Eyes. Uh, this band is maybe, at least on my channel, famous for uh, being my number three album last year, even though it came out in December of the previous year, 2016, but it was so good that it had to be on my, my top 30 list, and like I said, number three. So uh, pretty high expectations coming into this record, and uh, as you can see here at number five, uh, expectations were, were certainly met. This is a, 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 a band out of the United States. Uh, definitely play like a synth wavy rock, AOR, kind of arena rock sound, if you will. Uh, the CD released out through Frontiers Records of England, I think, is where they're from. And yeah, it just sounds like an 80s movie soundtrack. Uh, it just, it just, uh, you, you check it out. You'll, you'll know instantly that I'm right. Uh, some of my more favorite tracks from this one, uh, When Nothing's Real, uh, Four Time, The End of My World, in parentheses, uh, These Four Walls, those are probably my three favorites. Uh, top 13 solo, yes, the solo in When Nothing's Real. I really love that one a lot. So yeah, definitely, if you're looking for, uh, if you like uh, your music to sound like uh, 80s, Magic Dance, New Eyes, is, uh, is, is your, uh, your go-to at uh, number five. Number four. Number four, Black Slash with Lightning Strikes Again. This is a band out of Germany, and they play new wave of traditional heavy metal. Uh, that's a theme for the top ten, it seems like. Uh, and then they have a little bit of power metal in their sound as well. This is released out through Iron Shield Records. And yeah, it just it sounds like a uh, kind of a more power metal-y modern Iron Maiden. Uh, they do a really good job on the riffs. The riffs are excellent. The soloing is excellent. The vocals are a little different, but I, th I really like them a lot. I think they do a really good job of, of fitting the, the music very well. Uh, some of my favorite tracks, uh, Illuminate the Night, uh, Skyline Rider, uh, pretty much all the songs. The title track is another good one. Uh, uh, Eyes of a Stranger, Shine On... All the songs in this album are awesome. Uh, top 13 solos is actually has three of them. Uh, the solos on Skyline Rider, Illuminate the Night, and Shine On are all fantastic solos. Love those ones a lot, obviously, as they make my top 13 list. But uh, yeah, just an awesome, awesome, great release from here from German Germany's Black Slash with Lightning Strikes Again at number four. Number three. Toledo Steel's No Quarter, and this is probably maybe the album that is the most disappointing for me at number three. This album is like amazing. I love, 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 love this album, and uh, uh, the number three doesn't seem high enough, but I guess I understand because I know what number one and number two are. But anyway, Toledo Steel, No Quarter, number three. This is a band out of England. They play a new wave of traditional heavy metal with a new album vibe to it. Uh, another uh, release out through Distance Productions, just like the Seven Sisters. And yeah, just like the Seven Sisters, uh, they just have a great, very uh, cool uh, new wave of British heavy metal sound to them. Great riffs. Uh, soloing is fantastic. Uh, the vocals are very enjoyable as well. Um, some of my favorite uh, songs, uh, No Quarter. No Quarter might, might very well be my favorite song of 2018. Uh, also really enjoy Sight of the Sniper, Rock Knights, Behold, The Machine. Uh, just great heavy metal tracks all in here uh top 13 solos it actually blows my mind that i actually only have one and if i was to go through and make this list again maybe i'd feel differently but i only have one solo on here and that's the title track but uh, it's probably some of my some of my favorite soloing of the whole year so yeah uh no quarter from toledo steel at number three number two Alright, 
at number two, and what was really the really early on favorite for album of the year, Midnight Danger with Malignant Force. If you have not caught a video of me talking about this artist this year, Midnight Danger is out of Sweden. Uh, he plays synth wave, dark synth, and uh, this release was uh, released out through New Retro Wave. And if you are uh, looking for a vinyl copy of this album, uh, it just got uh, the announcement just came out. I'll leave a link to it. Uh, just it got announced, so pick up yours fast. As pretty much this guy's entire uh, all formats have just like flown off the shelves all year. Uh, sounds like uh, Blade Runner soundtrack. Another one that just like oozes 80s. Um, some of my favorite tracks on this one: Adrenaline Burst, Strange Days, uh, System Outages, or just Outage, and uh, Behind the Mirror. Behind the Mirror actually is uh, one of the top 13. Has one of my top 13 solos of 2018, which is kind of cool for a synthwave uh, uh, album to have. And yeah, man, this album just freaking rules. I love it a lot. Obviously, here at number two. And uh, yeah, Midnight Danger, Among the Force. Check it out. The time has come. Number one. Number one, this one may not be a surprise to you if you caught my uh, my collection update uh, video where I, I talked about it. And that's uh, Immortals Northern Chaos Gods. If you're not familiar with me, you might not know that Immortal is one of my all-time favorite bands. And so uh, this record, uh, definitely, uh, I was coming into it with sort of uh, mixed expectations and uh, was absolutely, as you can tell by it being my favorite album of this year, absolutely blown away. Love it. If you're not familiar with Immortal, they are from Norway, and they play black metal. Uh, this album was released on Nuclear Blast, and uh, as for what this album sounds like, it sounds like Immortal. Just, it sounds like a smorgasbord of Immortal material throughout the whole collection. Uh, this, this album is literally like way better than anything I could have expected. Just super, 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 super love this album. Uh, favorite tracks on the album Gates De Bladrick uh, Grim and Dark Call to Ice uh, Title track Coming right off the gates Let you know Immortals Freaking back I uh, love that one a lot too uh, No top solos on this one And Just wow Thank you Immortal For releasing An amazing album In 2018 That makes uh, The top of my list Number one Northern Chaos Gods Immortal So if you have not Check this album out By now and you like anything from Mortal in the past, stop hesitating, man. Check this album out. It freaking rules. All right, so that's my top 10. And uh, before we, uh, before I let you go here, uh, something that I did last year that uh, I wanted to do again this year was uh, I had a uh, end of the year contest, which I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this one yet, but uh, it, will, it will be upcoming, so stay tuned for it. But, uh, I had a contest and gave away uh, a copy of my top five albums. So I've done that again. I've acquired five additional copies, or one additional copy of, of the top five. And uh, and uh, so I'll do a contest sometime up here coming, upcoming. And uh, yeah, you'll have the opportunity to win those CDs. So stay tuned. And I'll also be throwing in a copy of Digital Dystopia from Espionage because uh, I ended up with an extra copy of this album. This action album contains the song Enter the Arena here at number two. And uh, that song actually has uh, one of my top 13 favorite solos. So uh, it is apt uh, to include it in the, those releases. So like I said, stay tuned for that contest. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to do something. So uh, if you're interested, uh, like I said, like a million times already, stay tuned. Uh, so yeah, excited to show you the top 10 here. Uh, but nothing else really to say, so thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you're familiar with any of these releases, number 10 through number 1, or if you want to, number 30 through 20, uh, through number 11, 
Feel free to let me know what you think of those as well. And uh, I'll just stop rambling here and just say thanks and have a fantastic, great day.